In this problem, we're told a 0.14 kg baseball traveling 35 meters per second strikes the catcher's mitt, which, in bringing the ball to rest, recoils backwards at 11 centimeters. What was the average force applied by the ball on the glove? So I always start these problems by writing down the given. So let's write down what we're given. So we know that the ball is going to, or the mass of the ball is going to be 0.14 kgs. And so we know that because kg is mass, so mass equals 0.14. 1.4 kilograms and we know that the ball is going to be traveling 35 meters per second and then it strikes the catcher's mitt and then it goes to rest correct so if that's the case we know the initial velocity right because it's traveling at this right it travels at 35 meters per second and then it hits the mat uh the the mitt and then goes to zero so essentially we know the initial velocity is going to be equal to 35 meters per second and we also know that the final velocity is going to be zero because we know the ball goes to rest, so zero meters per second. And so we also know that the ball recoils, uh, recoils backwards 11 centimeters. So what we want to do is write down uh, the change in x. So essentially delta x, we know it changes 11 centimeters. And so what you want to do is notice that this is in centimeters, and notice that these are in meters. So we're going to convert this 11 centimeters into meters. So we just, our units align. So if you take centimeters, we know that there are 100 centimeters for every one meter. So essentially, we just take our 11 divided by 100, and that's going to give us it in meters. And so if you do that, you're going to get that it equals 0.11 uh, meters. And so this is going to be uh, delta x. And then we're trying to find the average force. So I'm just going to call force f, and that's what we're trying to find. So f equals question mark because we're trying to find force. And so keep in mind that force equals mass times acceleration. So if we want to find force, we have to find the mass and acceleration. But luckily, we're given the mass, but we don't have the acceleration. So what we have to do is solve for it. And so we're going to use the, uh, the stuff they give us in order to solve for it. So we're going to be using a kinematic equation to solve for this. Uh, and the one I think that suits this best is the formula V squared equals V sub 0 squared plus 2A times delta x. So hopefully you're pretty good now with uh, kinematics so you can solve this. So if we just plug in every single variable, because we're given everything except for A, because we're trying to solve for A. And so let's just go ahead and plug everything in. So we know V is equal to 0. So 0 squared is just 0. So 0 equals V sub 0 squared, which is 35 squared, plus 2 times A. So we're solving for A, so we're just going to leave it as A times delta x and so delta x is 0.11 so if we go ahead and solve this uh, i'm going to move the minus or the 35 squared to the other side so it's going to become minus 35 squared equals and then 2 times 0.11 is just 0.22 a and then if we want to solve for a we just divide both sides by 0.22 so if you go ahead and do this this is going to give us the acceleration and so you do this you're going to get uh, acceleration equals minus 5568.18 and then keep in mind we're using meters in seconds so it's going to be meters per second squared and so remember that the formula equals force force equals mass times acceleration and so now we just solve for the acceleration so we should be able to solve for force and keep in mind that um, uh, your acceleration units have to be in meters per second squared and your mass has to be in kg. And so luckily in this case, uh, they both line up so we don't have to change anything. But just keep that in mind for other problems. So we just plug in the mass and the acceleration. And so the mass is 0.14. So 0.14. And then we're multiplying it by the acceleration, which is minus 5,568.18. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get that the force is equal to uh, minus 779 newtons. But keep in mind that they're asking for the average force. And so when you ask for average force, it can't be negative. So you just make this positive. So the force is going to be 779n. And so this right here is going to be your answer to this problem. So the average force applied by the ball in the glove is 779 newtons.